the European social class for atom research, CERN is uncovering nuances of another molecule, the smasher. Today, on different occasions, it is more huge. Also, two times as major, it has seen three new particles that could be helpful in sorting out how our universe was envisioned and what its future appears to be. Specialists at CERN have, of late, revealed exposures that turn how we interpret the universe on its head. Under the outer layer of their colossal tests lies a gigantic spread of particles and controls so inquisitive they could be straight far away from conceivable parts to substitute viewpoints, particles that challenge the veritable clarification of the genuine. What stupefy advantaged pieces of information are private inside these tests? Could we at some point or another jump into the universe of CERN and loosen up the pieces of data that could reevaluate our universe? The segment to new characteristics of view. A wormhole could hypothetically show up all of a sudden above, and the clarification would be the wonderful assessments driven at CERN, home of the Titanic Hadron Collider, LHC. The LHC is the world's greatest and most powerful particle smasher, located near Geneva, riding the line between Switzerland and France. There are advantaged secrets about this remarkable affiliation that the world doesn't have, some relationship in insider facts that could change how we view material science. Truth be told, the European Organization for Nuclear Research works this huge, unamazing instrument. It spans over 27 kilometers and sits underground. The inspiration behind the Large Hadron Collider is to give physicists the ability to test the appraisals of various speculations in atomic material science. This solidifies the high-profile examination of the standard model of particle science, which helps us in sorting out the fundamental structure blocks of the universe. At its core, the Large Hadron Collider works by accelerating protons to nearly the speed of light prior to smashing them together. These effects produce a shower of new particles, which are studied to get bits of information into the rules of nature. It was through such starters that the Higgs boson, a significant part of the time referred to as the God particle, was found in 2012. This straightforwardness demonstrated the veracity of how particles get mass and was an immense moment in atomic material science. The tests driven at the Large Hadron Collider are essential for figuring out ascribes that occur under crazy conditions, essential yet unclear from those not long after the Big Bang. The data amassed can fill us in more about how the universe started, developed, and about the fundamental constituents of matter. This makes the Large Hadron Collider a player in uncovering new pieces of reality, including dark matter and the central forces of nature. Such high-level experimentation at CERN doesn't come without concerns. Some speculate about high-energy tests making dark holes or captivating matter that, at any rate, could introduce risks to Earth. CERN ensures that all safety means are met and arranged. Experts closely monitor these assessments. Studies on hypothetical models affirm that any risky circumstances are extremely unlikely. Through its consistent examination and openings, CERN helps us with sorting out the universe better and demonstrates the amazing restriction of human development and cooperation in the quest for data. The LHC is humanity's consistent, strong event. The bewildering Hadron Collider at CERN isn't just an impossible piece of development. It is a miracle of modern science and engineering, worked with under the Swiss-French line. The giant collider goes through a passage 27 kilometers in width and is, in general, essentially as deep as 175M underground. This makes it the best particle collider in the world and one of the main instruments in the field of particle material science. The development of the Large Hadron Collider is planned to make dough surveying critical scale. The head ring of the collider, housed in a passage with a breadth of 3.8M, contains two connecting same pillar pipes. Each line organizes protons in the other way, rapidly driving them with a progression of superconducting magnets. These magnets are central for maintaining the proton's course at speeds close to that of light. Incorporating the pillar pipes are layers of cooling structures that keep the temperature colder than space, intended to keep the superconducting magnets at their working temperature. The size of the gigantic Hadron Collider is also underscored by its utilization of remarkable magnets, including 1,232 dipole magnets to bend the beams, and 392 quadrupole magnets to concentrate them. The best and most powerful superconducting magnets utilized are 15M long and weigh 35 tons each, showing the gigantic scope and mechanical ambitions behind the collider. The head objective of the Large Hadron Collider is to investigate the makeup of the universe by seeing the littlest bits of matter. 
By accelerating particles to nearly the speed of light and therefore impacting them, the Massive Hadron Collider allows physicists to focus on the particles made during these effects. This process aids in testing and growing our understanding of the standard model of atom science, which is the best description of the subatomic world. One of the key targets behind the Large Hadron Collider's tests is to uncover the insider realities of the Higgs boson. Its discovery at CERN in 2012 confirmed theories about how particles obtain mass. The Large Hadron Collider also analyzes other fundamental particles and forces, attempting to answer basic inquiries like the presence of dark matter and the nature of the universe not long after the Big Bang. The Large Hadron Collider aims to confirm the presence of new particles that speculative material science predicts, but has not yet observed. These evaluations are key for potentially finding new material science beyond the standard model, including supersymmetry and viewpoints beyond the traditional three-dimensional perspectives. The vision behind the Amazing Hadron Collider isn't just to sort out the universe's arrangement, but also to support worldwide collaboration. With various experts from over 100 nations taking part, the Large Hadron Collider is an affirmation of overall cooperation in the quest for information. Its design and scale empower it to tackle the most severe requests in material science. Its explanation extends beyond simple scholarly curiosity, aiming to energize how we unravel the universe and support around the world cooperation in science. Through this enormous and complex gadget, humankind continues to push the limits of what is known and experienced in the quantum domain. But how does the Large Hadron Collider really work? At the center of CERN's assessment offices, the Titanic Hadron Collider functions as a solid, furthering purpose in mixing into the quantum space, allowing scientists to see and concentrate on the key particles that make up everything in the universe. The process of particle speed acceleration and impact at the Large Hadron Collider is a basic technique for testing the underpinnings of material science. Inside the collider, two high-energy particle beams travel at nearly the speed of light before they are made to collide. These beams go inside tubes kept at ultra-high vacuum, mimicking the conditions of space. Superconducting electromagnets, chilled to temperatures colder than space, help steer and gather the beams at designated crash points along the way. These beams apply enormous energy as they collide with particles, creating an assortment of subatomic particles, some of which are extremely unstable and exist for just fractions of a second. To recognize and analyze the aftermaths of these collisions, the Large Hadron Collider is equipped with huge identifiers, MAP, CMS, and LHCB. Each identifier is intended for specific kinds of examination. These indicators capture data about the particles, including their mass, charge, and energy. This information helps physicists test assumptions for atom material science hypotheses, including the standard model, and investigate particles and forces that govern the universe. One of the major discoveries at the Large Hadron Collider was the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012. This particle, sometimes referred to as the God particle, is significant because it provides proof of the Higgs field, which is responsible for giving mass to fundamental particles. The presence of the Higgs boson was predicted by the Standard Model, and its discovery was an extraordinary achievement, affirming long-held theoretical assumptions. Beyond the Higgs boson, the Large Hadron Collider has also been instrumental in finding a range of other particles. For example, the Collider has provided evidence for the existence of confined quarks and confirmed the presence of tetraquarks, particles composed of four and five quarks individually. These discoveries expand how we could interpret hadronic matter, which is matter made of quarks bound together by the strong force that holds atomic nuclei intact. These discoveries demonstrate the power of the standard model and open new avenues for exploration in particle material science, offering insights into the behavior of matter under extreme conditions, such as those shortly after the Big Bang. Speculative risks, such as strangelets or miniature black holes, have been subjects of public interest and continuous examination. Strangelets are a hypothetical type of matter that is more stable than ordinary matter. The theory proposes that strangelets could convert any matter they come into contact with into strange matter. The fear surrounding this theory is that, if strangelets were created during particle collisions at the LHC, they could potentially convert the Earth's matter into strange matter. However, extensive studies and safety research conducted by CERN and the global academic community have addressed these concerns. Studies have shown that, 
Even if strangelets exist and were created at the LHC, they would likely be highly unstable and decay too quickly to affect Earth's matter. Furthermore, high-energy galactic rays, high-energy particles from space, constantly hit Earth with energy levels far higher than those produced by the Large Hadron Collider without creating any strangelets. This natural evaluation suggests that strangelets are not a significant risk. The concern that the Large Hadron Collider could create tiny black holes comes from speculation about extra dimensions in physical science. Some theoretical models propose that high-energy impacts inside the LHC could create tiny black holes that would disappear immediately due to an interaction called Hawking radiation, named after physicist Stephen Hawking. However, scientists agree that if small black holes were ever created at the LHC, they would pose no danger to Earth. The ongoing work at CERN and the Large Hadron Collider has expanded our understanding of the universe. Yet, it has also raised fascinating and significant questions about the nature of reality itself. The tests conducted at the LHC are assisting in shaping the future of physical science, not only by confirming existing theories, but also by potentially uncovering entirely new areas of science. The discovery of previously unknown particles or forces could redefine our concepts of space, time, and the fundamental structure of the universe. For example, the search for dark matter and dark energy, two of the most significant mysteries in modern physics, is a major focus of ongoing research at CERN. While we can't directly observe dark matter, its gravitational effects on visible matter provide clues that point to its presence. The LHC could help identify dark matter particles by creating them in collisions or by uncovering how their elusive properties impact other subatomic particles. Similarly, dark energy, which is believed to be responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe, is another mysterious force that researchers hope to better understand through experiments at CERN. Another area of interest is the investigation of supersymmetry, a theoretical framework that suggests a connection between the fundamental forces and particles. Supersymmetry proposes that every particle we know may have a corresponding superpartner particle, which could help explain some of the universe's unresolved mysteries, such as the nature of dark matter and why the Higgs boson has its specific properties. Finding evidence for supersymmetry would be groundbreaking, as it would provide a more complete understanding of the universe at the quantum level. Theoretical ideas like string theory, which suggests that the fundamental particles we observe are actually vibrations of tiny strings, are also being indirectly tested through the experiments at CERN. While string theory is still speculative and largely untested, any experimental evidence that could support it would be revolutionary in how we understand the laws of nature. In addition to these advanced scientific inquiries, CERN's work has practical applications that could benefit humankind. The advancements developed at CERN, especially in the fields of computing and particle detection, have already contributed to progress in various industries. The World Wide Web itself, for example, was conceived by CERN's Tim Berners-Lee in the late 1980s to meet the data-sharing needs of researchers working on particle physics experiments. The advancements in computing, imaging, and even medical technologies that emerge from CERN's research continue to have a far-reaching impact, demonstrating how fundamental research can lead to unforeseen and valuable benefits. The global collaboration at CERN is also a vital component of its success. Scientists from all over the world, representing more than 100 nations, collaborate at CERN, sharing knowledge, ideas, and expertise. This cooperation fosters a climate of creativity and innovation, where breakthroughs are often achieved through the collective efforts of a worldwide academic community. The LHC itself is a symbol of this cooperation, bringing together thousands of researchers, engineers, and technicians to work on one of the most complicated scientific instruments ever built. However, as with any pioneering research, the work done at CERN continues to raise ethical and philosophical questions. What do the discoveries made at CERN mean for how we understand the universe and our place within it? How might society interpret the results of these experiments, particularly when they could challenge long-held beliefs about the nature of reality?